going out back in. Nah, we're on the other side of the bridge. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. No, they don't. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Uh, here we go. Got to River Street. It's time. It's time to find Clem. It's time to end this shit. Time to fucking destroy some motherfucking dude who kidnapped Clem. That motherfucker's going down. I'm going to kill that bastard. I'm going to choke the life out of him. I'm going to stab him with a knife right in the neck. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. yeah. I mean... No point in anybody else dying on some rickety-ass, rickety fucking old-ass sign. This thing's super old. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Just go nice and slow. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Don't fall. Shimmy, Almost there. Shimmy, it's shimmy, an easy shimmy. crossing. Good. Don't fall. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Don't fall. Shimmy. Oh, shimmy. Oh, shimmy. Shimmy shams. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jimmy. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. All right. Jesus, we'll be there. You better be. I'm gonna send Clem to the train if you fuckers aren't there. My ghost will do horrible things to you. <laughs> I don't have a recourse, but I'm I'm angry about it. Uh are you really about to like Okay! We're just about to fucking go ham sandwiches! Let's do this shit! Fuck you! Who's next? Fuck you! Fuck you! A novelty t-shirt. Fuck you! I don't give a shit about no zombie! Fuck you! Fuck you! This guy over here! Eat a dick, big man! Fuck you in your leather jacket! That's how I feel about that! That's right, bitches! Fuck all y'all!
stabbing motherfuckers left and right. What? 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 I'm just an angry dude with one arm and a fucking hatchet. I don't fucking butcher's knife. Butcher's knife. Butcher's knife. And I will fuck all of you up. And this is not super creepy. Well, here's the door. All right. Is that like a shotgun string trap or just like a keep door to close string trap? Hi. Hi, how are you? Adjoining rooms. Hello. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Yeah, that's that's your fault. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Oh, man. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Okie doke, dude. Chill the fuck out. What the hell is your problem? Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Okie doke. What? What? What's your deal? It's in the bag. I don't know who I am. No, who the hell are you? I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Is that racist? Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, the yeah. one I didn't touch? I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I don't care. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? She didn't want me to. She didn't want you to do a lot of things. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to what say. What is in that bag? I want you to know what happened. Oh god, I don't care. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said 
He was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. Well, yeah. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yeah, you're an asshole. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. Fuck you. you. Let a woman who knew who you really were die to protect your secret. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. Fuck you. So you could come kidnap her, you piece of shit? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our? Listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Fuck you. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Give a shit what you think, dude. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. Oh, is he is talking to a head in a bag. He's talking to a head in a bag. That is a head in a bag. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile. He is talking to a head in a so bag. Much, You're going to like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. Give her the business. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Yes! Oh, bitch! Oh. Bitch, 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 Oh, I will fuck you up! Action sequence! <laughs> bitch! Oh, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up! Son of a bitch! Get off me! Go away! Get off me, you Die. fucker! Oh. Oh. 
Clementine Chatham. You are the man. Clementine, you are the lady. You are the shit. Oh, I was jamming that button with everything in my being. I just tell you guys. I... It's okay. It's okay. I... Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I... Sorry, Clem. Kinda... It's somewhere safe. Got bit. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Yeah, we need that gun. Oh, man. Hey. You saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Alright, on the next episode of Crew.0, we will find a way to get our asses out of Savannah. Crew.0 out. <laughs>